Yeah. You'd be surprised. Yeah. We're yeah. back. We're live. Episode 76 of the Quarantine Chronicles. Surprise guest Luke is here. Luke K29, Rage K29. Luke Kara is here. <laughs> and and um, we were going to talk about New Japan today, but since Luke's here and Luke doesn't watch New Japan that much, we're going to talk about what WrestleMania was the better of the worst of the two. <laughs> 32 or 27. Luke was there live at both. I was live at one. Mike was live at none. <laughs> this is my off day. I'm just here so I can say that I've been to every single one. Well, you know, I'm sure everybody wanted to hear your opinions on uh, New Japan. No, you want to hold on. You want to talk about New Japan? New Japan's back and Dominion's happening. That's all you need to know. Continue. And we'll probably do a live stream. Okay, that's it. I don't know about that. All right. Hey, Luke, how's it going? Yeah, Domino's back, and I guess they're going to do a uh, empty arena thing, right? Uh, we're Domino. not talking New Japan, dude. Okay, well, I figured they wanted to hear something about that. Um, they don't. Like, Ten people listen to this. All right, let's <laughs> talk about the real stuff. That's the truth. Uh, for the record, I didn't pick this topic. Um, okay, so 27, arguably probably one of the most – non-star-studded main events ever, probably next to Lawrence Taylor and Bam Bam Bigelow. Uh, it's among one of the weakest main events. You had John Cena versus The Miz for the WWE title, and uh, yeah. I mean, it got the it same grace. A double DQ, which is like, I didn't think that would even happen watching it live. What were you thinking watching it live, like, in the building? I just... I, I was glad The Rock was involved, and that was the only saving grace of the match was him getting involved. And, uh, you know, and I think they did the double DQ because they were building Miz, and they thought they had a legit main eventer in the making. And uh, look how that turned out. But, um, no, it, it was among one of the weakest main events. Now, you, for the opposing side, WrestleMania 32. Well, first of all, Mike, what did you think about the uh, 27 main event? You know, it's one of those things where <clears throat> I know that the match happened because obviously, you know, it was like billed for, for weeks and stuff. But um, all I can think of is just that shot of like The Rock coming in to, you know, save the match. And it's literally just a, you know, an extra added to the build that was WrestleMania 28. Like if I went to WrestleMania 27, I would look at that main event as like <clears throat> well this is just promotion for next year WrestleMania 28 because no not gonna go next year and you know go to Miami to Literally, see this match that promoted it was a stepping stone for everything because like it was like the stepping stone for um uh Triple H Taker and Cell and it was a stepping stone for Rock Cena. Exactly it was just a um <clears throat> it was like the go home show to WrestleMania twenty eight almost yeah and uh I don't know. 27 is just probably, yeah, 27 and 32 are really kind of deemed the two weakest of uh, that decade, right? The two weakest WrestleManias, pretty much, of that decade. Okay, so the flip side, we're at, me and you are 32, biggest attendance, probably the most hype mania ever, like in the past how many decades? It's because it was so, it was like in Texas, um, 100,000 people in the building. And yeah, and I feel like 27 had that Taker Triple H match that was really good, uh, great, but 32 didn't really have, other than the women's match, which was like good, I didn't think it had anything like great. Well, it was filled with moments, obviously. You had the Austin uh, Foley and Michaels moment, which was incredible. You had The Rock and the Wyatt family and Dallas Austin Cowboys cheerleaders. Ever in wrestling. Huh? The Rock's last match ever in wrestling. That's right, against Eric Rowan in six seconds. And, um, you know, I'll call it right now. Uh, 32 is better than 27. Really? 32 is better than 27? Yeah, because I just think it had – the moments honestly made that. And then uh, Taker and Shane in the cell was a spectacle. And well, What about Brock and, and Ambrose? That was I, terrible. I remember, right? That was Bro- – Luke, do you remember like every time he did a suplex, like the big screen would like show a number? I no, I don't. I have no memory of that match. <laughs> <laughs> like that was the most hyped, most disappointing match I ever seen live. Yeah, because a month before I was so hyped off Ambrose because it was Ambrose Triple H, and I was in there at that Roadblock Network special that was so good. And then I come to thirty two, I'm like, 
that that show was better than 32. Subtract like the like Austin coming out and like seeing Taker wrestle. Yeah, dude, it was just and it had a bigger feel, obviously. And the hype was pretty real. Hell, even the trip in general. We we don't need to beat this uh, horse to death, but that trip in general was overhyped and it never really lived up. Even though it was the biggest WrestleMania of all time, quote unquote, literally anyway, uh, it didn't really live up to the hype. And that main event, Roman Reigns walking out as WWE champion against Triple H was just, it left you like, you know, they just pissed in your mouth and like, you got to like it and go away (laughs) kind of thing. AJ, Jericho and Jericho won. And in hindsight, that made no sense because it's like, why didn't AJ win at Mania? Zack Ryder winning, which was like, I guess it's cool now, I guess. If you want to look back, but like at the time, it's like, why did Ryder win now? Yeah, I mean, it was a hell of a moment for him. It was arguably the biggest. No, no, it was the biggest moment of his career. Um, and then it was AJ Styles' first WrestleMania ever, so that was cool for him. I think Kevin Owens wasn't that his first Mania too? Yeah, it was Kevin oh, Owens, Sami Zayn. Uh, wow. It was Cody Rhodes's, I think, last Mania. No, I think he had something at thirty-three. It was Wade uh, Barrett's last, I think. Del Rio's last. Rose left in 2017. 2016, sorry. The summer of 2016. Oh, uh, uh, okay. Because, like, the only... Okay, here's the thing. The only reason I remember the um, 32 card is because I have, like, the poster of it um, that I think Miguel bought for me um, that I had it hanging up framed next to my WrestleMania 31 poster. Um, so I'd always, like, look at that poster and, like, look at the matches and see... Like, you know, Kevin Owens and Stardust and Sami Zayn and Zack Ryder and, like, you know, see, like, the different matches on there and whatnot. And it's, like, 27 just as a whole, I think, because that was, like, the beginning for, you know, like, wrestling YouTube for me. And, like, you know, like, I knew a lot of people at that one. Obviously, I knew, like, a ton of people at 32. But just, like, the trips in general, watching from a video standpoint, um, it was like there's better memories at 27 than there is at 32. Um, Obviously like, you know, on camera and off camera in both situations. And I think like when I think of the mania show, I think of the trip first and then the actual show. So I, you know, like what's better, I would pick 27 over 32. And I mean, 27, like, um, like if that's like a really good mania, then there's no chance that Money in the Bank's going to beat it. So if, you know, WrestleMania laid down for Money in the Bank that year, um, but I still prefer that one over 32. Like, if I, okay, like, if I was going on the network right now and I needed, like, a, if someone said you have to pick 27 or 32, I would pick 27 over 32 100% of the time. It was the, it was the better trip if I were to give 27 the edge on anything. Uh, it was an all-time <laughs> favorite trip of mine. I feel like 32 peaked too early. Like, it was... 32 was Shinsuke, NXT, and after that, the trip kind of died. That was... The hype for Shinsuke that weekend was so great. It lived up, too, which was... Like awesome. Friday, if, if, if that Mania... If Mania 32 was mon- um, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday for me, and Saturday, up until after we left Hall of Fame, I would have that been a fine trip. <laughs> Yeah, that that was like an all-time favorite match of mine, uh, Shinsuke and Sami Zayn. That's one of the best. I can't maybe the best wrestling match I've ever seen live. I don't know. I'd have to really think about it, but it's up there. It was definitely the most fun. Like, yeah, think, like that. That right. like in hindsight, I know like Balor and Joe didn't like have like the best main event match, but like Shinsuke and and uh, Sami Zayn should have went on last. Oh yeah, nothing top that. As I was saying. Um, so I think like the thing with 32 is because um, nobody went on the 31 trip. It was only a few people. And <clears throat> so 32, everyone was back together, you know, 100,000 people in Dallas. And everyone was like running full speed ahead. Like, oh, this is going to be the greatest trip. It's going to be great. Like, oh, man, everyone's here. You know, we got, you know, pictures of, uh, you know, Mike on our phone that we're uh, watching the live stream of that we're going to take a picture of, like pretend like he's here. Uh, I was the only one that wasn't on the trip or on the trip that year. And you guys were going full speed ahead, and all of a sudden, like, you just kind of, like, tripped forward and, like, landed face first. And it was like, oh, man, we wanted to, like, relive 30 because we didn't go to 31 and we regret it. So it's like, 
you know, it just, you ran too fast for yourself and you, you tripped over yourselves. And then that's how, like, the trip, like, kind of fell face first, especially with, thought, you know, getting into the, the stadium was, and stuff. Like, Dallas, like, the, the city for Mania wasn't the best. Well, you know what? I thought so, too. But then uh, Ryan Falcone and I went to, to bring it back to New Japan, went to the show in Dallas last July. And it was a way better experience because we were able to find good places to eat this time. There was some, like, better sightseeing. And Dallas was actually better than... I had remembered it. I think we just didn't do the, go to the right places and do the right things because we knew nothing about it. We just thought it was all concrete and nothing. But there's a lot That's more doubt than you think. I, I feel like there's too many. I guess there's too many hands and with like too many people to like please. Because I feel like in 32 we're constantly with minimum 10 people. Right. And that's why I like to travel in smaller circles or just have one other person because then it's not, no one has to, a lot of people don't have to vote and half the people want to do this, half the people want to do that. And it's just getting everyone on the same page can be a pain in the ass. And so that's kind of what happened in Dallas. No one, we couldn't even agree to go to Whataburger, I think. I think maybe 80% went and <laughs> I don't know. It, it was so, a mess. So, Luke, because you were on 27 and 32's trip, which city do you prefer, Dallas or Atlanta? Uh, Dallas, for sure. Um, even though... But Luke I wouldn't even stay in Atlanta. He was, like, on the outskirts. Wow. Yeah, but he was still we were in, there. in Atlanta enough to make me... It was... I don't know. I didn't get a real taste of Atlanta, so maybe it's a little unfair to say that. And um, had you have asked me in 2016, maybe I would have said Atlanta. I don't know. Because I got a second look at Dallas last year, like I said, and it's just yeah. – it was way better. Um, maybe if I went to Atlanta today, I would say Atlanta. I have no idea. But um, I'll tell you this. You can't go to Chris Benoit's house in Dallas. Um, true. <laughs> That's true. You can't, uh, you know, make a video at Chris Benoit's house that you post every 10 seconds. But, I mean, that is true. Yeah, so, Steve. Yeah. I'll like talk about that for a second. I'll talk about how – Every day, every day, and Breach is going to listen to this maybe, and he's going to tweet it out just to spite us. He's going to tweet it at all of us. Uh, you know what, Breach? I, I've said this before, and I'll say it again. Y you have to keep tweeting it. Like we've seen it, everyone's seen it, everyone has seen that video. We don't need to see it anymore. There you go. I just buried Breach. If you have a couple of hours, search Stevie Breach Murder House. He didn't murder anybody, <laughs> but the uh, the title of his Benoit video is that and he's tweeted that no less than a thousand times oh, it's uh i would, I would go over a thousand at this point yeah i think that's his most watch video let's see let's look it up right now stevie breach i can't remember if it was his videos or someone else's but i just remember someone calling me a pussy for uh running away before the people answered yep that was yeah that was in one of the videos i remember that all right most yep, popular most watch video yeah, 409. Not even like a million. Like, come on, Breach. Like, not even a million. He tweeted enough. He probably tweets it. Like, like half those views are probably him clicking the link to copy it. You know what I mean? Like, well, supposedly, I think he told me it's a scheduled tweet. And it yeah, it is. But you still have to like copy and paste like the like the tweet over and over again to schedule it. It's not like you can you, you can take one tweet and tweet it multiple times because they wouldn't allow that. Um, you have to like, like in his scheduled tweet, it, or in his scheduled like thing, he probably has like fifteen that are set up for you know like each week. He's probably got fifty-two, one for every week. Like, post that video, and you know we spent way too much time on that. That's okay. It's all good, <laughs> but dude, um, Luke, next yeah. year, man, are you are you thinking gonna go if it's a thing? No, well, the thing is, it's not even, um, they don't even know where it's going to be officially now, supposedly. True. If it's in LA, will you go? Oh, no, no. No? You're done? Yeah. You're done with Mania? I mean, I'm like Undertaker at this point where I say I am and then I come back or whatever. But no, <laughs> uh, I don't, no plans don't for next year. I don't know, that's how I feel. <laughs> Well, I just have bigger fish to fry, and I've done it eight times, and it's like, I if I never go again, I mean, I will go again, but when, I don't know. And on that note, uh, I don't know. I don't know what else to say. Mike, got anything else? I don't know. Justin, why aren't you going to Mania next year? Because uh, I got Russell Dynasty to go to New York. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go to AW. 
at probably in Chicago or somewhere else, wherever it's going to be, your house or whatever, and um, probably go on like a resort trip. So there you go. Sounds good to me. Yeah, I just I originally maybe, I wanted to go next to next year. We'll do all the Palooza, you know. So that's like four things right there. Why am I gonna yeah. go to Mania? Well, I'm already gonna like, go to two wrestling things. When it was announced for California, I was like, oh man, like. You know, I want to go back to like Los Angeles. Like it's gonna be great. And then I thought about it, and I thought about what I wanted to do. And I was like, I don't need to go to like Los Angeles just for WrestleMania. Like go to New York, you know? Go to New York. You ever been there? Uh, we'll see. That's something to check off your list, Mike. It's uh, it's quite the site. Our and city. You garden, right? Huh? Yeah. yeah. I mean, <laughs> the 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 garden. Go to the garden, see the ranges in the garden. Um. Anyway. Um, that was two different things. I only, see New anyway. I only go to the garden and see New Japan, and that's it. True. Yeah, who would do that? <laughs> All right, right. Oh, well, this is end. Yeah. 